Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this video, we'll be talking about the PhotoLemur program. It's a program for very quickly doing image enhancement, as you can see right there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and, of course, share with your friends. Hit subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And you'll find my complete training courses. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I have courses for lots of different graphics programs like Lightroom and Photoshop Elements and Adobe Photoshop and so forth. Okay, let's get to it. As you can see here, PhotoLemur is a desktop app. It doesn't work on smartphones or tablets, which is too bad. I'm sure they'll be putting that in in the future. And it's fairly small. You can see here's my desktop hiding behind. That's as big as this thing gets in here on my desktop. I'm going to start this from the very start. Let's just cancel this one out and I'll start over. So here we go. There is the starting screen for PhotoLemur. There's the icon, of course, for it right there. There are two ways of getting pictures into PhotoLemur. You can either drag them in or import. Import simply opens up a drive window. Find the picture you like, like that one right there. Choose open. It then opens that up. Now as soon as the picture opens, PhotoLemur goes through, examines the picture, and then does its corrections. And that's it. That's what it does. I mean, it's very, very fast as you can see and does a real nice job. The only adjustment you have is right down here where you can choose how much of that adjustment has been applied. So it's really kind of a one trick tool, but it does a real good job to do a very fast image enhancement and adjustment. It's very good for people who are doing a lot of photography, doing a lot of photos, and they want to have a quick fix on their pictures. Good for people doing social media, things like that. So it has a lot of that kind of use. You don't have to go in and open up a big program like Photoshop or Lightroom and use all those fancy tools. Obviously, you get the best results from a real large program like that. But for just a fast fix, this is a great little tool. It's also not that expensive. It's about 40 bucks right now, a little under 40 bucks right now. So it's fairly inexpensive as well. Also, kind of a fun little bit here on the on a Windows machine, which is what I'm running this on here, this can also be used as a plugin in Lightroom or as a plugin over in Photoshop. So you can use this for a real fast fix and then fine tweaking afterwards if you want to. Over on the Mac, it can also be used as a plugin for Lightroom or for Mac Photo. It doesn't work as a plugin for Photoshop on the Mac yet. I'm sure they'll be adding that in soon as well. Once you've allowed PhotoLemur to use artificial intelligence to do its photo magic and you've decided on your amount of boost in here. You can then go click on export and this allows you to export to back to your disk or to Facebook or Twitter. So it's kind of designed as you can see here as a tool for social media. And they'll be adding in more of these I'm sure as they go along as well. Now on the disk, just click on the disk save here and here you have options for JPEG which is you know very good or best really for online also the PNG or TIFF if you don't want to have a compressed file here for your saved format. So you have those three save options. Of course you have your quality adjustments in here. This is really for compressing your JPEGs and some basic advanced settings. You can get pretty specific in here. Web JPEG or for email we're looking at just the JPEG options right now different option boxes for each of those three different file formats. You can choose where to save to. You can adjust your naming in here. Actually, you know, have it. So if you're doing a whole lot of pictures, you can use this to put in suffix or letters and automatically rename your files so they're not overriding each other, things like that, or making them all you know, a similar file series. You can, again, choose your format right down here and your quality, color profile, you can also resize as well, original or against your long or short edge or specific dimensions. You can use it as a resize also. And choose to not enlarge, which obviously on a lot of images, especially on JPEGs, if you enlarge the JPEG, you can begin to see some pixelation in there. If you use your settings all the time, you can actually click on, on the save settings here and save it as a preset. Just close that down. So you have quite a few options, as you can see, for your export. And the whole thing can really be done very, very quickly. Right now, I am in the 
paid version here of Photo Lemur. There's also a free version. You can, you can use the free version forever. It's a, it's a lifetime free version, but it has a couple of limitations. The biggest one is it puts a watermark, it puts a photo lemur watermark on your image. It's that little guy right back there. There it is. But it puts that right on your image. So if you don't want that watermark, then you should go ahead and pop for the 40 bucks to get the full paid version for this. The other couple of other problems with the free version, the biggest one really is that the paid version allows you to do batch processing, which you can't do with the free version. So that watermark and the batch processing, that kind of limits the usefulness of the free. But it's a great way to go ahead and play around with this and see if you like how it works. And if you like that, then just switch up to the paid version later. Let's take a look at their website for a minute and see what's actually being done when it does this. We'll then come back here and do a few more examples. Okay, let me bring up the website. There we are. There's a link for this, by the way, in my description down there so you can find this quickly and easily. So on this, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. This is stuff I've already been looking at here. Obviously, they found a real nice picture for that, but I'll be showing you some more examples. But let's come down and take a look at what this is actually doing. It's right down here. It does color recovery, sky enhancement, exposure compensation. You see examples up here on what it's doing on exposure compensation. Foliage enhancement it brightens up your greens and it does a dehaze as well. So it does all five of these adjustments automatically and it does all of this through artificial intelligence. It analyzes your image, looks for all these different areas and then adjusts all of these for you. So it's like doing a whole bunch of adjustments all at one time and it's a great way to again very quickly clean up and improve images if you need to be doing a lot of fast processing like that. Again, as I said before here, if you want you know, complete control over your images, you want to be doing real fine tuning, real careful work and so forth, then you really want to go for a more expensive and more feature rich program. And for photos, I like to use Adobe's Lightroom program. But for a fast, quick fix, this is great. And as I mentioned, you can use this as a plugin to Lightroom as well. Let me just get this back out of the way here. If you go right up here on the name, little, little arrow right there, it's kind of hidden. Click on that. There's actually a little window here. You can import images right there, import more images, or click on the import more button over there. They have links here to their help about updates, the regular help, and so forth setting adjustments in here. Notice it also does an auto lens correction as well. I haven't really tested that one that much. All my pictures have fairly good lens positioning already. They're not really needing any lens corrections. I'm not, not really sure exactly how well that one works. It has sounds. You can disable those. It has different language options in here. As you can see, quite a few more. There's more here than is listed on the website. So they're obviously improving this as we speak. What I wanted to show you though here is the install plugins. Now again, I'm on a Windows machine, so I can install this to Lightroom right there as a plugin, and I can also install it to Photoshop as a plugin as well. And it's a real nice way, especially if you like working with Lightroom, use this tool for a real fast, quick adjustment, and then go in and tweak if you want to or need to in Lightroom. Let's cancel that out. Okay, let's bring in a few more pictures here so you can see how this whole thing works. So here's the before and after on this one. Let me just bring up my folder here with my images. There we go. I'm going to shrink this down a bit so it's a bit easier to see. And I'm just going to drag some. Let's just take this image right here. Let's drag this over and it adds it into the image set up there. Now again this is the paid version so I can come in and actually bring in several pictures. I'll do this with a shift key and just grab all of those at once. Bring this all in as a batch and I'll bring in the rest of these as well. There we go and get that out of the way. So pretty easy to bring this in. Now once you have them in here, all you do is you just double click on an image. It goes through, does its analyzing, and does its quick fix. It's a real nice nice job. This one didn't need that much, but that's basically what I did with this photo in other programs. I've used this in a couple of my different videos, and that's pretty close to what I did anyway. Notice that these come in as floating windows. Kind of interesting thing. They're floating in here in front of your 
gallery back there. Let's just close that down. Now it doesn't work just on color images. You can also do this on black and white. Here's a black and white example. One of the things it does is sharpening. So if we look at the little bear down here, look at the fur right in there specifically as I pull this back and forth. You can see how it has really sharpened up that fur, especially right over here in, in the face. You can see it up in the hair as well. So it did a real nice sharpening on that image. Just a little bit more contrast, but not much. So it did a nice job on black and white as well. So it's not really just for color. Now this one, it takes it too far. Let me just bring this one up. Okay, it's going through. It's figuring the whole thing out. It does its recovery. And you can see it does a lot of a change, but I think this is really too much in this case. So this is one of those instances where I would come down here, click on the edit button, and then bring down the boost. There's the original. And I just kind of go back and forth with this until I find the right amount. I think somewhere in here looks pretty good. It's about halfway up in this instance. So I wasn't happy with their full boost, but I like what it did pretty much as long as I can come in and use this edit control to find exactly the amount that I want to have boosted. Let's just close that down. So it'll export 10 photos. You can go ahead and export those. You can see here you can do this as a batch as well, batch export as well. Here's a fairly dark picture. Let me just bring this one up. It's going again through looking at recovering colors and stuff. And this one is a good example of how it boosts your foliage. You can see the grass and the green and the tree over here is really boosted a lot. The sky hasn't been touched very much. It's a little bit right in here. That's brought up on the sky, but the sky has been left pretty much alone. It's lightened up the building in the background, but it's really boosted the green and the foliage. So it's very good at that as well. It's a good job of finding that kind of stuff. These are areas that tend to get dark very easily on photographs. So it's a real nice fix on that. Now, another interesting one in here is this picture right here. Now, this is one which is a little bit tricky, and I use this as my sample on how to do luminance masks. I did one of these in Photoshop and one of these in Photoshop Elements. And with a luminance mask, you mask out the dark part and adjust the light parts using a special luminance mask to do that. And this went through and did that pretty well all by itself. It didn't have to go through and do a luminance mask. It actually did that brightness improvement without going to all the trouble of making one of those luminance masks. So it solves that problem very nicely. Very, very useful on things like this where you have a dark sky, dark background, and you want to just increase the light areas in your foreground. So again, real nice. It can do this so easily without going to all that trouble of making one of those luminance masks. Let's just do one more of these in here. Let's do this one right there. Again, it goes through and checks. This again has a dark background and light foreground. It's very, very similar to the luminous mask issue where you want to increase the brightness of your foreground and ignore the darkness of the background. It does a pretty good job of doing that, especially on those strawberries down there. The background's a little bit lighter, but not much. It really hasn't touched that very much, and it's put most of its attention into sharpening up and brightening up your foreground. But you can see how fast this works. It's really a very, very quick program. That's really the benefit here is you can come in and do very, very fast fixes and adjustments and then go right to your export. So if you have that kind of a need or you have a, a use for a program that can do that for you, this is a, a real nice tool for that. Again, the way I like this is that you can use this also as a plug-in inside of Lightroom. So you can do your real fast adjustments here. If you like it, you're all set to go. If it needs a few more little tweaks, just tweak those over there in Lightroom. And you can also, as I mentioned, you do batch processing. Just do a selection like that, and you can then batch process multiple files if you're working with the paid version, which again is just under 40 bucks. So it's really a very inexpensive program as well. So there it is. That's what Photo Lemur is all about. It's, as you can see, a little bit limited on what it can do. It isn't a full featured image editor. But what it does, it does very well. And that's this real fast image adjustments and cleanup. Let's just do this one here. Last little picture going through, fixing the colors. And there we go, a little on the dull side, real nice and cheerful here on the cleaned up side. So there it is. That's the Photolemur 
program and again it's one of those that I do happen to like quite a bit but I, again I like to use this as a plug-in more than just as a standalone program works the same way it just opens up photo and then takes you back into Lightroom afterwards okay there's a link for this if you want to find out more about this right down there in the description and they do have that free version which doesn't have the batch processing and does put a watermark on your picture but it gives you a chance to try it out and see if you actually like using the program before you make your purchase okay there you go that's all about the photo lemur photo adjustment program thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I'm frequently uploading new training videos don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.